And let's give a big round of applause for Gateway to College. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Sylvia Pichu. I'm Ronald Jones. I'm Cardal Muhammad. I'm Anaya Thompson. I'm Alexis Sandino. Douglas Brown. I'm Gerald Witters. And I'm Ja'Kai May. And we are Gateway to Change. We are here to admit that violence has always been present in our cultures, lifestyles, and communities. Its inevitable events have broken families, self-esteem, and even hinders people from not wanting to further their education or careers. That is why my team and I have chosen this challenge of starting a movement to make nonviolence cool, to unify the community by means of intentional relationship building, increasing community engagement, while promoting human value through the arts. Violence in all its forms are something personal to all of us, outside of Philadelphia and outside of Pennsylvania, but through all, out, through all parts of the world. That is why it needs direct attention and tactical strategies to solve. Most commonly, when we think of violence, we think physical or domestic. Our group, Gateway to Change, also tackles the emotional, verbal, and psychological aspects of violence. Because if not addressed, these forms have proven to adjust a person's mentality or identity, usually for the worst. A lot of people do not understand what threatening, bullying, or putting someone down may do or trigger. One, one of the ways we try to prevent this darkness and helping kids act out in a negative manner was our open mic event. We decided to have an event to promote our goal of making nonviolence cool and making violence uncool. Since one of our main goals as Gateway to Change is to engage the community, we thought it would be a great idea to get students of all different backgrounds together at our school in an event called Drop the Mic. We had some amazing artists perform poems, songs, and even dances, all to share their experiences of violence. One of our team members, Sylvia, even played the flute. We were only expecting around 20 people, but since our venue accidentally got double booked, we had upwards of 60. I think our Drop the Mic was a great way to promote our idea that nonviolence is cool. Originally, um, one of the problems that we faced was, or something that we failed to take into account was, instead of just naming things of events that we could do, but actually the impact that we're trying to make and promote change. And so, although doing the drops to the mics and going to schools and trying to, you know, do um, sports events um, for the community, while speaking with Reentry, a program at CCP dedicated to integrating um, ex-offenders back into society and get them an education, I mean, get a college education, um, they told us that all in all, one of, the, one of the things that we have to take into account is their environment. And we cannot like go one-on-one -on -one personally change your environment, but we can give you the resources of programs that can provide that change, like Gateway to College, um, an alternative education program, reentry, trying to get um, ex offenders back into the school and into society, the Youth Board of Philadelphia. And what we're trying to do is work with the junior block captains and bring them back to Philly. Gateway wants to implement junior block captains as a way to get all kids involved from everywhere, uptown and around the way to get them to come together, bring their families together, and better support each other and make it safe and happy for everybody around. Hi everyone, I'm Sylvia and I come from Taiwan. Taiwan is a country that seldom have gun violence because the government forbidden firearms and we have death penalty. So I often go home after eight o'clock at night and it is safe. When I came to the US, I won't go out after six o'clock at night. It just doesn't feel safe for me. We know that many others don't feel safe from the commute to and from school. To combat this feeling and other similar feelings, we've started development on an app. The primary function of this app is to pair users going the same direction to give them a common route. This is done in the hopes that violence is deterred as their strength in numbers. In addition to this, users have the opportunity to meet people they may have not met otherwise. So as you can tell, we are all about relationship building here with Gateway to Change. And so 
in addition to that, we're going to present to you our National Gateway to Change Club, or NGTCC for short. The NGTCC will tap into the Gateway College's already existing national network and commission youth just like ourselves to become leaders in their envi environment and take on the issues of violence head on. We're going to do this by engaging the community and building le leaders like ourselves. In so doing, we'll be building a national network of solutions. So in closing, we have a short video we're going to play for you to ignite our last challenge. Sorry, the time's up. Action. So my name is Michael Mouse, and questions. Questions, comments. I have a question. Um, I really like the idea for the app, the Buddy app. I'm curious, how how are you filtering who actually has access to the app to ensure that those who are using them aren't like crazy. <laughs> so that was actually our first concern. And so we decided to start actually small. So we're going to have it targeted just for high schools and um, other monitored environments. Um, and based off of that data, we plan on, when we take it to the national level and make it uber wide, um, we were thinking of having a registered queue of, P of designated walk along buddies mm -hmm. to handle that. <clears throat> Can you share what we might have learned in the video? So the video was going to be a forgiveness challenge. We're starting our own. In addition to uh, jerking ain't dead, which it ain't, we're going to do our own uh, called the forgiveness challenge where we are going to record yourself. You're going to record yourself forgiving one person or one action that was committed to you. Um, that helps build the relationships that we're talking about and heal the wounded ones that have been afflicted to you. Um, so, because that is also an opportunity for people to get really petty, we actually have a format for which that's supposed to be handled. And you state the person that you're going to forgive, or the action, it can be anonymous if you feel comfortable that way. Then you're going to state how that made you feel, that way it's intimate, and that you, can, you have to be from a genuine place in order to share it. And lastly, you're going to say why you forgive them. Is it because your family, because your friends, or you value your relationship more than you value the issue that harmed you? We chose this challenge because Gateway, our program, Gateway to College at Community College of Philadelphia, basically forgave us in the different ways that we came into that, you know. We love you, Christina. So, awesome job. I love the opportunity to create spaces and culture of redemption for people. It's not seen in our culture enough, and especially in our society. Um, do you have plans to go outside of your network? And if so, what else? where else are you thinking about going? Outside of the Gateway Network? Yeah. Um, so initially, we want to start our club in the Gateway Network. And it's in 15 different states already. Um, so we'll be going nationwide. Um, and how that, when that does as well as we plan to, we actually want to start community clubs based off of that that will then be connected to the Gateway to Change Club. Any other questions? We got like 30 seconds, I'm gonna need y'all to. <laughs> you have fun working together? We, we, yes, fun is definitely a word. <laughs> we have different schedules, so it was kind of hard, but it also taught me and the others about teamwork and how we have to work together to get things done. It has to get done. Can we get an amen? Amen. amen. Baby! All right, let's give them a round of applause. Thank you guys. Thank you.